Tonight I'm going to be discussing a satanic sacrifice at Delphi. The situation of the sacrifice surrounds the date of February 13, 2017 in Delphi, Indiana. Between 1 p.m. in the afternoon on that day of the 13th in February, which is a high witch night and a high witch time on any pagan satanic witchcraft calendar. Uh, it is a time of uh, purification. In Roman times, it was deemed the date of the mains. It was um, when the veils were thin and sacrifice was necessary. Diocletian, the Roman Emperor, exterminated Christians on a mass scale on his day. But back to the Delphi situation, two girls went missing in the wilderness. Catfished there by a group using beautiful people to get them there. And it was done in the name of Hecate and Satan. And many people believe that one person did it. It's impossible. There's many people that were involved. The girls were on the moon bridge in Delphi, which has been an area of satanic works for the past hundred years. The area is rife with pagan witchcraft. But the girls were missing. They believed that one man was involved, but it was impossible. Some old man who could barely probably run. And the two girls would have ran away, but they were triangulated. One came forward from here, one back here, and the girls were trapped. It was an encirclement. Then they were walked down the hill. Supposedly, what the guy said, down the hill. So down the hill to a waiting boat where they went to a property nearby into one of the outbuildings probably belonging to someone around that area I'm not going to name names however one name does come to mind being Ron Logan who uh, owned something nearby at that time but now he's dead got rid of him but the situation of a girlfriend that dated Ron Logan clarified that it was his voice on the uh, recording. But the police didn't want to hear it. And they buried everything involving satanic ritual in the situation. The girls were taken somewhere. There they were killed, sacrificed to Satan or Hecate in the day of purification, uh, celebration of the mains, devils that haunt the earthly realms. In preparation for Hecate's and Persephone's awakening. And Lupercalia and so many other days of high witchmas exist in the February month of the year. Candle Mass, Imbolc, all of these are of high priority, but their centrality in mind and in reason is that they have in common. Fertility, vitality, power, youth, 
agriculture, renewal, and that is the reason for these sacrifices. Uh, it's very real. The, it's been happening for thousands of years. We're getting into the crux of the sacrifice. So the girls were killed somewhere, taken somewhere else, somewhere between the time frame of one o'clock in the afternoon or something that day to the one o'clock the next day. Killed somewhere else, drained of blood. There was a search party that was apparently working in the wilderness to about midnight on the 13th, which would place us at Lupercalia Valentine's Day the next day. Midnight hits Lupercalia, which is just another day for Valentine's Day, but it's satanically very important. It's a very important day, satanically. And the girls were then brought back. So in the window of the search parties from midnight to about probably 6 a.m., they were brought back staged as mannequins or as sacrificial accoutrements. And there were certain rods which were used rods are stakes are the arrows in the tarot dialectic i've written and produced over 22 tarot decks so highly advanced in it the girls were staged in position one being the magician her arms are in a certain way and symbolic as below as above the sticks, the rods, which is used in, or wands in tarot, were placed over them. The other place is the hanged man, adverse to the side, very similar to the reading itself. The reading was living, it was at one time, but now sacrificed to Satan. And used to offset that from that time she is staged as the hanged man the rods the sticks the wands are very symbolic in number and how they were placed and the cardinal points being marked by the blood that means the trees of the north the south the east and the west and then you had some internal, which were other than marked for the anagrams of the satanic ritual. The reversals, some for the reversals and for the protection of the situation, almost garnering visibility. So we have them placed between the frames between the time frames of the search party. So they had to have known or had insight or had real balls to do it during that time. Because the search party had already been through that area and then they had retracted and came back to it. And then all of a sudden, no, oh, there are women here. These are girls have been sacrificed. There's more than one person involved in this. There's no way you're going to subjugate two young, very fast children. Could have easily ran away from some one elderly man. No, there was more than one. Even on the bridge, when this person approaches from the moon bridge, he doesn't speak. It's the person behind them speaking. It says, guys, down the hill. Supposedly. Or, but it's, uh, that was all congealed together by the FBI. They put it all together. Then they were later thrown off the case because they knew what I knew. They know what I know. And the locals didn't want to hear that. They want to pin it on some 
mentally defective guy and bury it so they can get reelected and get their money. That's all it is. And they turn their sacrifice again, aren't they, the children? Because there's careers on the line, as there always has been. You haven't solved the crime. They are useless cucks, though. They are useless and they're liars. And they are trying to bury this man, whoever this person is. I don't know. I have no affiliation. But I do know that the crime scene was staged by the Coven, a group. The High Priestess is the one that carries out the sacrifice. And there were women's hair found in their hands. Defensive move, you know, in a sense, really. But uh, they never tested the DNA and don't even know who it was. But they think it's one man. One man was able to corral these two very young, virile girls into an area, stab them to death, and do all this staging with their bodies and then get out of there with absolutely no DNA being left, not a trace of DNA, and you've got all this butchery going on. No, he didn't do it. Not one person didn't do it. No, there were several. So that is my take on the satanic sacrifice at Delphi.